Eric Browning Cosplay again here, uh, working on a new technique for extending my uh, yellow jacket arms. I think I'm at plan maybe W by now, trying to make these things work. Um, the biggest trick in making any kind of uh, robotic elements, making it very, very light, very, very strong, very, very reliable. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, having servos that, like each one of these joints it's not proving to be realistic just because of the weight, because when it extends, it wants to wobble a lot uh, just because of the weight that's out there. So, trying to keep it simple by making it more complex, using these uh, strings, which will actually be real cables, you can see that they make an X here. Uh, what happens is when this one tilts out, this string pulls this one down, which extends that arm, and so on and so on all the way around. When it comes back, this string pulls it back in so that they contract and expand you know at the same time now this is just kind of a mock-up it's not super super tight because some of these strings are a little loose and of course I will be working with a, a tube probably carbon fiber tube maybe aluminum not sure yet uh, but it does work you can see it does extend off quite well and things do come back in now this uh, this last one out here doesn't have the return string but uh, as proof of concept of it continuing up the line, I know that this will work. And you can see that this uh, third arm here, which is actuated when I pull on the second, because this, this arm will be stationary. This will come up from, uh, from the uh, backpack, and then that one will pull out. And it does work vertically, it works horizontally, and it works really, really well. So I think this is probably what I'm going to do for my yellow jacket arms. Just have to order some parts now and uh, get to work. So, thanks for watching.